we're going to have a tutorial on how to sign up for Moodle Cloud account so that you can be able to work with Moodle as an administrator. So first come to your URL and type moodle.com slash Moodle Cloud, press enter. All right, so it takes you to the moodle.com site as you can see. So what I will need to do is if we scroll down, there are pricings, they have packages. So for us, we are going to subscribe to the Try Moodle Cloud for free, which will give us a free subscription for an amount of period. So I click on Try Moodle for free. It takes us to the signing up. So I already have an account, but for a new user, you need to first of all create an account. So, all right, when you click that, this is where you are at. Put in your first name. My last name is Joe. And uh, you can put in your email. So you need to select a country very well. So I'm going to select Kenya here. And the time zone, you're in Africa, Kenya. So let's go to Africa, somewhere here. Africa, Nairobi. There it is. And then the site name. You need to come up with a name for your site. So I can say John Doe. John Doe .com. That's going to be my site name. So you need to pick up a password that you would want to have. So pick out a password that is strong. To have a strong password, you must have like uppercase, you must have numerical and alphanumerics as well. So after you are done, uh, the region, here the region is, it indicates the where the servers are. So there are three regions, you can choose any. Let me choose United States. And then I say, agree. And then start three free trial. You have got a number of uh, security to, to go with, then you verify. Right. So it will tell you to relax. Uh, your site will be ready shortly. All right, this is the message you're going to get. Congratulations, your site has been successfully created. Then you have options to go to the Moodle Cloud Quick Start Guide, which I can right click. It is here. This is the guide. You can download in PDF or you can watch the video here. Let's go to, this is the guide. So say, take me to my site. Here is our Moodle course. You can see it is signed in as John Doe. That is my username and I'm here as the administrator. You can see I have the administration menu here. So you can now start creating a course and doing a number of things. To begin with, we are going to do two things. One, to create a course. Two, to enroll users. So first of all, let us uh, add a user in our site. I'll click on site administration. Correct. There are a number of things you can do. So to add a user, you click on the user tab and then add a new user here. So you need to type in the username, get their password, and then other details follow. So let me uh, put a new username called John Mark. And then I'm going to use manual accounts. And then I'm going to give out a password here. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to say false change. False password change so that when John Mark logs in the first time, he'll be required to change the password. Okay, so let me enter the first name is John. The second name is Mark. What is the email address? Uh, John Mark at gmail.com. Okay, and then Moodle profile, Nairobi, Kenya is the city. Kenya is there, time zone, Africa, Nairobi. And basically that is all. Uh, if I have the image for John Mark, I will upload it here. So I'm saying create user. So I already have a user. In the users category, I have John Doe, this is me, and John Mark, right? So that is how you add users 
to your Moodle site. How to create a course? I'll come back to the administration menu. And I'm going to go to courses, add a new course. So this is the window to add a new course. So I'll specify the course full name. Then the short name will be MIC. Okay. Uh, the category, let me leave that one for default. The course visibility is marked shown. This is okay. When is the course likely to start? Let me choose dot second November 2021, 000 hours. You can also be able to specify when you want your course to end. So you can click there and activate this section. Or if you want to leave it blank, you can just check it and you see it is not enabled. All right, but you can specify if the course is to take two months or one month, I can say it ends at December 2nd. That leaves us a period of exactly one month. All right. Uh, you can have a brief summary about the course. All right. So we can add an image to our course. I'll click inside here. If this is the file picker. I'll click on choose file. I have an image on my downloads. Yeah, there it is. Open. Then upload this file. There is our image. And so far, uh, you can also specify the course format. Do you want the weekly format or topical format? Let me choose topic. Um, then the hidden sections are shown in collapse form. That's okay. Show all sections on one page is okay. Appearance, uh, leave it okay like that. File uploads, you can decide the maximum size of files that your users will be uploaded. Take note that if you pick a bigger sizes, your site will be heavy because it will have so many uploads uh, uh, to store. So I'm going to reduce that to 100 kilobytes. Uh, completion tracking is key, make sure it is yes. Groups, uh, for now I don't want groups. And that is basically it, so I'm going to save and return. So take note, this model uh, re expires on 17th because we are on a trial version. So we have a trial period that has got an expiry. So you can see my course. You can see Moodle implementation course, the way it looks like. So I can click on the course. You can see this is how the course looks like. I don't have participants yet, so I want to enroll participants. So participants, there are zero participants found. So I'm going to enroll a participant in the course. Remember, we added uh, a user. So I'm going to look for Mark. Here he is he, Mark. And I'm going to enroll him as a student. Enroll. So Mark is enrolled as a student. And then I'm going to enroll myself, John Doe, as a teacher. So enroll. This is me. And then under role, I'm going to say teacher, enroll. So we have one teacher, one student in our course. That is how we work with Moodle Cloud uh, trial version. Thank you very much.